This is an important concept to understand, um, plaque versus stenosis. Uh, the uh, artery depicted there has a normal lumen and there's no plaque in the wall of the artery. If we go down to the next one, we will see that plaque will fill in the wall and grow bigger and the lumen size will be the same as before and thus the angiogram will be normal. It's been well known that patients could have normal angiograms and then die the next day when their plaque ruptured that was not affecting the size of the lumen. The plaque was not seen on the angiogram. What's very interesting is that once the plaque gets much bigger and finally does encroach on the lumen of the artery, the stress test will still be normal despite obstruction of the uh, lumen up to 70 percent. There needs to be there needs to be 75 percent stenosis of an artery in the coronaries to have a positive nuclear stress test. However, sudden death often occurs with only 50 percent stenosis. Thus, a patient can have a normal stress test and a month later the patient can die as happened with Tim Russert. The soft inflamed plaque ruptures and this has to do with inflammation. This is why you do C-reactive protein or LP plaque levels to see how much inflammation you have. The best test to show if you have any plaque in your heart is not the stress test, is not the angiogram. It is the coronary calcium score done with a CT. If the number is equal to or greater than two, then this demonstrates that the patient has disease. Once you have disease, you can have inflammation of the plaque and you can get rupture, which can cause sudden death. Presently, it's a coronary calcium score of 100 is considered more significant. However, I think anything that's positive demonstrates that you need to treat to the goals to get rid of the plaque. Use CIMT which is an ultrasound of the intimal wall of the carotids to demonstrate regression of plaque once you achieve goals. As mentioned before, the goals are LDL particle number less than 750, HDL greater than 50, triglycerides less than 150, inflammation levels normal, blood pressure less than or equal to 130 systolic, waist 40 inches less for men, less than 38 inches for women. The Physician Desk, desk Reference, PDR, presently states that niacin and cholestopol together have the indication for regression of plaque. Cholestopol is similar to the uh, newer preparation, Wellcol. Crestor and other statins have the indication to slow progression. Thus, I advise using combination therapy to get to goals.